So, I went and I hooked up my new inverter. That's the third one over. It's this one here. And yesterday, we had communication error 62. And it's doing it again today on the other two inverters. I don't know how well you can see, but one of the inverters here is doing all the load. The first inverter's got 25% of the load. The second one's 3.7. The third one's 5.6. Okay, and I was told to just shut them down and restart them. This did not happen until we hooked up the new inverter, the one over here. And now this has happened two days in a row. So basically, in order to get everything working the way it's supposed to, I have to shut down my inverters and restart them so this is what i was told by signature solar but this is going to be happening every day that's not going to be cool okay and if you look at the second inverter in okay it's not showing no solar coming in and it has solar so we're gonna we're gonna follow their instructions which basically it's shutting down the inverters and restarting them and when you want to shut down the inverters you turn off the power first okay and then they want you to turn off the PV Okay, and then shut off your batteries. Now we're gonna turn them off, on, or turn them on, and turn them off. Let's just do this couple times this is just to get the power out of the capacitors okay and then we'll go ahead and turn on the batteries Now let's turn the PV on. Each inverter has its own shutoff on the PV. Let's try turning on. And that new inverter always seems to come up as the uh, host inverter. Okay. And these ones are one and two. Now this is two nights in a row that this has done this. So... I don't know what's different about the new inverter and why we're having a communication error with that hooked up. Hopefully uh, Signature Solar will get in touch with me and let me know what's going on here. 
but I am gonna post this video again I or I'm gonna post this video and we're gonna see what's why it's doing it it did not do this before putting in the new inverter I don't know whether that's a different style and whether I need to take my fourth inverter which is set up for solar or for battery charging only and put it as the uh, third inverter for the house and use the new inverter as the uh, battery charge only inverter <laughs> if you can see in here it does have different board down here that front board is different than the ones on the front of the older inverters okay so I could just take that one and make it battery charge only, but I would like it to work the same. I don't, I don't want it to be throwing a communication code, which code 62 is a communication code. And on that second inverter, it wasn't showing my solar was not being shown. So that second inverter is having a communication error. And now it's up and working. When you're going restart it, it, it comes right back online. But this all, this happened yesterday. And now it's happened again today. And it all starts with this inverter here. Before I hooked this up, it never did this. I don't know what they've changed with their these are all the 5000 ESs and I don't know exactly what they've changed but they did change something and it's not acting the same as the other three inverters so we might have to due to it being a different you know it's the same model but they've changed something in it and due to their changing something it might not want to work the way it should with the other inverters i might have to just swap and use the uh fourth inverter there and you know run those all in series and have that new one be my battery charge only inverter because that fourth inverter there it does not have any of the uh, communication wires hooked up to it. It doesn't have any of the grid hooked up to it. None of that. 